you know, you yeah. go girl. You know, the best, the only the way I know is praise the Lord. <laughs> My name is Masi, Masika. Um, I'm reading your news. So I go. All right. A brave teenage mother managed to keep herself and her infant son alive after a deadly plane crash. Their plane went down in the dense jungles of Western Colombia. Five days passed before the Air Force found them. CNN senior Latin American affairs editor Rafael Romo has been following this remarkable story. When rescuers found the crash Cessna 303 in the jungle, the morning after the crash, one of the first things they noticed was that the cockpit was destroyed. Pilot Carlos Mario Ceballos was found dead at the scene, but the cabin was remarkably intact. Two passengers, a 19-year-old mother and her infant son, were missing. It took rescuers five days to find them both alive. When they were rescued Wednesday, Maria Nelly Murillo had a broken ankle and multiple burns she suffered while taking her son out of the burning plane, according to officials. Her five-month-old baby boy, Yudier Murillo Moreno, was uninjured. But why did it take so long to find them? Authorities say the plane crashed in a dense jungle about 30 miles or 48 kilometers away from Nuki Airport, the location where the flight originated. It was bound for Quibdó, a city also in the northwestern Colombian province of Chocó. Another question is, how were the mother and her son able to survive without any help in the jungle? Authorities say the mother, who was still breastfeeding the baby, remained hydrated by drinking coconut water. Officials also say the mother left several traces, including the baby's birth certificate, so that it would be easier for rescuers to find them. Rodrigo Zapata, the Colombian Air Force colonel who led the rescue mission, told CNN they have a lot of respect for this mother because of her courage and efforts to keep her baby and herself alive. She survived because she never gave up, Zapata said. She used the little food they had wisely. This is a very special rescue case for us. She's a very strong and brave woman. Zapata confirmed both survivors were flown by helicopter to a hospital in Quibdó. They will be flown to a larger hospital in Medellín where doctors have more resources to treat the mother's injuries. A beautiful story right there. Yeah. Well. You know, you did so well. I did, eh? But the problem is you read too fast. I did, you know, eh? you know, You know, news reading is like, you know, you're telling a story. Now let me take you to school because okay. you took me to school with your music. Okay, okay. All right, so, you know, news reading is like you're telling a story. It's like you're yeah. sitting with your friend and telling them, hey, do you know, like, a, there was a brave teenager mother who managed to keep us... You know, you're telling do you a know, story. Do you know, I didn't even... I don't even know what I read. <laughs> Okay, so she needs a lot of classes, I can see. But yeah. I think you did well. I'll give you um, mm. six, f five out of ten. No, give me six. Five, just six. five. Six. My English was okay. <laughs> five. Okay. All right, so you can also rate uh, Marcy. Tell mm. us what you think or how you think she did and fared. Yeah. The hashtag is uh, Friday Briefing. We'd love to hear your comments. Mm. But for now, what do we do? Mm. We will take a break. Stay tuned, okay? <laughs>